Welcome back to episode 5 of Shit I Wish I Knew. Today's episode, we're heading up north on the uh, map of Greece. We're heading into Thraki, and we have a request from Nico from Pasadena on how to play Vasilips and Avgerinos on Gaida. So this is our first video on Gaida. Uh, introduce the instrument itself, do a skeleton of the song, go a little bit more intricate, do some embellishment, then tips and tricks, just like always. I want to thank everybody that subscribed, liked, shared, and commented. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And let's dive right in. So this is a Gaida. Gaida's a goatskin bagpipe. And it's got a couple components. We have the chanter, we have the drone, or buri, and the blowpipe. So we're going to continuously fill this thing with air, similar to the Ashwamadura. And we're going to do our melody on this hand only. So that's how we fire her up, make sure that we're in tune. And what we want to do to make sure that we're in tune is have our back hole closed, footy hole, second finger, third finger. And that's where our drone is going to match. In this particular instance, we're in the key of A. And uh, that's where the songs are going to be. The beautiful thing about Gaida as opposed to Ashkumandura is that you have a chromatic scale. So you can play both major, minor, and you can dabble a little bit with the makamya. You can do a little bit of Hidzaz, but I'm not going to get too much into that detail. Let's dive into the song and see where it takes us. So in order to play Vasilip Savirinos, we're going to have to do the minor scale. So let's do a close up and I'll show you how to play that minor scale. So the basic tune, it's going to be in a 9-8 rhythm, a sirto from Taraki. So let's count it out. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Let's dive into the melody. So that's the introduction, part one. the bare bones skeleton melody of Vasilip Savirinos. It has that introduction, then we go first singing part, repeat it, second singing part, and then back to the introduction. Just like most uh, Greek traditional tunes, we kind of mimic what we heard in, in the melody itself. Whatever is being sung, we do a repeat of it. The beautiful part about this tune in particular is that it has its own introduction. It's something that's very distinct and very uh, characteristic of this particular song. 
So let's dive into the embellishment a little bit and then I'll show you how to do some of that embellishment as part of the tips and tricks. <laughs> something more intricate and I'll show you how to dive into some of those intricacies. Tip number one, that back thumb hole is going to give you all the control of the rhythm. Because we're playing bagpipe, it's continuous air. So there's no way to stop it with your mouth like you would a clarinet, like you would a floyera or any of the other uh, wind instruments. So what you have to do is give the rhythm with finger patterings. So let me show you a little bit of that. <laughs> Second tip, it's always very easy to start straining your body when you're blowing into something continuously and having to do the finger patterning. So my best suggestion is to always kind of keep your body relaxed and use the air from your lungs rather than trying to squeeze out every bit. Now remember, this is a deposit of air and its reason for being is to give you a break. Don't make it your primary source of air, make your lungs your primary source of air continue blowing and use the bag when you need to take a breather okay that's always gonna help last tip and this is more for a beginner or somebody that doesn't have experience with a guy that the guy that can be very temperamental as far as tuning it's extremely difficult to keep it in tune particularly when you're in climates that are a little bit more humid so let me show you the components the reed itself can be tuned by a little piece of plastic and I'm going to do a close up of it so you can toggle this up and down or within the gadonitsa itself you can pull the reed physically and that will lower it and sticking it further in is going to higher the pitch. Second part of the tuning is your buri. So again, following the same concept of pull out, push in, we tune it by opening up the sections or pushing it back down, okay? Shorter, higher pitch, out, lower pitch. As far as maintenance for the bags, a moisturizing cream is always helpful. Remember, this is skin, so make sure that the bag doesn't dry out once the dry is out. Uh, the pores tend to open up and you might start getting leakage. That's today's episode. Hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. Nico, best of luck to you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. And if any of you have any requests for a lesson, shoot me a message. I'd love to do them. Thank you for watching. This was Shit I Wish I Knew.